So you want to create a low-poly human character in Blender? Look no further, I will show you the way. This tutorial is for complete beginners who want to model in Blender and for anyone who would like to practice their modeling skills. I will guide you through this process step by step and hold you by your hand. Ready, set, go! Go to Google, type in human turnarounds. Turnaround is the keyword you are looking for here. You can also look for a character turnaround. Go into images, then find the image that you would like. This is our all turnarounds. Select one you like. I selected this one. This one has a front view and a side view because these are the two views that you need. Right click, save to your computer, remember where you saved it, open a new Blender file and then we go. First thing we will have to do is do some basic workspace setup. So go to one on your numpad keyboard, or just fix this one here. So you can have a front view, shift A, go to image, reference, and load up the reference image, download it from your computer where you just found it. Then we also need duplicate for the side view. So for example, in this one, shift D, Duplicate, right click to snap it back there, R to rotate it, hit Z to rotate it on the Z axis, and here you type in 90. Okay, nice. Now we move this aside because this is in the middle of my figure here. So G, Y, G, X to put this on the X axis, G, Y to put this on the Y axis. Now, let's fine tune this. I want this one to line up with the blue line right here. So select this one. G X once again, so his head is here in the blue line, and with three to side view, G Y to lines up perfectly here. You can also do the X ray modus with Alt C or hit this icon right here to have them aligned like this, and you can see through your cube. Okay, nice. Now we can start to work. First thing we have to select our cube in object mode and we go to edit mode or you can quickly hit tab to go to edit mode and we enable the x-ray mode again scale this one down gz to move this one up a bit hit ctrl r to create a loop cut and then right click to snap it back in the middle we have to select these vertices hit x and delete these vertices because right now i will create a mirror modifier so go to this range tool Add a modifier, select mirror. Right now I can mirror. So anything I do right here just also goes on that side and that's handy for creating a character. I will enable clipping because if I want to it, then parts come loose and I don't want my body split in half. So clipping enabled for this one. Okay, let's start modeling. Ctrl R to create a loop cut right here. GX, GX lined up perfectly, GX. Now we can see this is not that perfect. So I said perfectly, but since this is a low poly character, we can have little errors like this. And we also be switching between the front view and the side view. So let's go in the side view, then GY, GY, hit this one, GY, and also on this side. So this is how our character starts taking shape in both directions, the front and the side view. Now, hit E to extrude this up, like this, then hit E again, and now from this vertice, GX, to do this like this. Then on side view once again, GY, 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 GY. Now I will follow the neckline also right here. Now you can see this is a bit poking out, so I can add the loop cut right here. Control R, click, and drag it in place, click again. GY, GY, in front view, this is fine. So I can create a little torso like that already. Okay, now first go up to the neck again, select these vertices, extrude again, or EZ. Once again, GX to move this up a bit, extrude. X, extrude, and GX, and maybe one more here, GX. So now you can see this one has ears and nose, but for this low poly character I won't make ear and nose because that's a bit more difficult. So start like this, very easy and basically. Now let's fix the side view, GY in this case, GY, GY. GY all day. Like I said, I don't do the nose because that's a bit difficult. 
can also go into sculpting for that one, but that's out of the scope of this tutorial. I'm doing GY all the while to fix this head up. And you can see there's a chin here, so you can hit the loop cut right here, Ctrl R. And add the loop cut right here, GY and GY. Okay, and now I get more of a shape. See, this is more of a chin. So, yeah, our character is starting to gain more and more shape. Let's go to the bottom half of this. Select both of these. X root. Then GX. X root once more. And now you can see we have a problem. We have vertices here and vertices here, but I want one here. No problem. Control R. Create a new loop cut right here. And go further with just those two, those two vertices. First of all, GY again on this side, on the side view. And maybe one here to create a nice butt for him. He will be very happy with that. Okay. Nice. So, once again, these two vertices extrude. And now we can use scale in this case, because it's apart from here. And GX. Extrude with E. Scale in a bit. Extrude, GX. Extrude, GX. Scale, so scale X, Y. And then in the side view, we can also tweak this bit. GY. 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 And once more. Now, if you want to write do GY, because if I don't do the Y, then it will also change in the other axes as well. You can also, in between, check how it's looking. Nice. Let's continue. Let's speed it up a bit. GX, scale. If you want more, you can control R, loop cut, scale this one a bit further. Scale in, extrude, scale, extrude, scale, extrude. Scale and once more. Scale, GX, GX, and then side view with three on numpad. GY, 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 GY all day. And also do this for this one. So this lines up. Same here as well. GY all day again. And maybe I like it more like this. Remember this flow poly, so it doesn't have to be that perfect. Just if you follow the lines, you get the basic shape of a character. So now if you disable X-ray mode, you go back to object mode. You can already see the figure coming alive in the shape of a human character. So this is also nice fitting in here. Now for the arms. I'm going to select this one, then into edit mode. You can see we need arms coming from this side. So how can I do that? Here in face mode, select this one, one on my numpad, E to extrude, R to rotate, G to grab it a bit, scale it a bit further, and then in side view, with this selected, we see this is a bit wide. So GY, move it in a bit. And this may be also a good time to go to object mode and GY this image in X-ray mode. So you can have the shape of the arm right here. See, just like this. So now we have to select our arm again. Go into the edit mode. We have this face selected. Go to X-ray mode again. And then we continue our work. R to rotate, G to grab, S to scale, also G, Y if you want it bigger or smaller. I do this switch between the front view and the side view more and more when I'm in this mode. For the arm I mean. Then 3 on my numpad again, S, Y to scale it up if you need to. Now from this part on I'm comfortable with the vertices once again. Then extrude, scale, G to grab, and also now I can see this one G Y here, G Y, G Y, and G Y. Okay, so I have this one selected first. So when I go into my side view, I see which vertices that I need. Because if I select too many, then my character will come out of shape. Now you may already mess this up, but don't give up, give it multiple tries and 
regularly save your work, check for this view once more, and then continue your work as we went along. Then extrude, G to grab, S to scale, side view. You see these vertices are selected, so these ones are the one I have to remember to fix it up with GY. And this one GY. Once again, I could make a mistake here, so select this and look at from different sides. Okay. Now, there are more easy ways to do this, but this is a low poly simple tutorial. So, we just go with GY as we please. Select these ones again. Scale it in. X root. Scale it out. Okay, that looks fine from here. Then GY to move this in a bit is also GY. Now for the hint, GX in this case, I'm going to add a loop cut right here. Ctrl R to add a loop cut. Look where the thumb goes. E to extrude. G to move it in place. Select these ones with 3 on my numpad. I can see these ones are way out of place. So GY, GY. And once again, right here, this one's GY. So now this one, GY. And you can see that's a little thumb right there. Maybe a little bit of a mistake right here, but this happens in this case of modeling. So now from this one, we only need these two. Extrude, scale it up a bit. Side view, GY. Move it up a bit, GY to fix this one. And let's say once more. Scale a bit, GX. Have this one selected inside you. GY, like this. This is not perfect, but the hands are pretty difficult. I want to keep this simple for this tutorial. Okay. So right now, I can disable X-ray mode. Go back to object mode to see this more clearly. By the way, if you want to hide this one, you can also Hit this eyes icon and it looks like a pretty neat character to me already so let's go to the modifier tab again in object mode select this one go to the range and then hit apply now you can also get this one back like this and you can also see gy and it fits right here oh what is this okay it just a sent okay i thought i modeled something weirdly but don't worry, it's it's a male character, but this is just his hand, all right. Good. So, once more. I don't need these ones for this. Good. Now, you can see it's a bit blocky and this is just fine. But what you can also do, select this one, go to the modifiers, and add a subdivision surface right here. And you can see, because he's getting more geometry, he's looking more like a human character already. Now we can add more levels to do this, but we can keep this one more low poly and hit this one with apply. You can also select this one, right click, shade smooth, but that's a bit too smooth for my liking. Ctrl Z to undo that one. And this is the one that I like. So there you have it, our low poly character. Let's give him a color. So you can go to the material right here. Also, select the viewport shading to see the materials. Right now it's pretty white. Let's give him a color, a base color here. Let's say red because he wants to represent our enemy or something like that. Also, make sure to click the link down below to see the animation part of this video. We will go to Mixamo and let him do some really cool moves so you can animate them. And it's really easy. You wouldn't believe it if you saw it, but you will see it. So make sure you also looked at that video. Anyway, try this multiple times to practice your modeling skills and then we go right into the animation part of this tutorial.